outside, but the, it's not stopping the last minute Christmas shoppers or the super fans willing to risk frostbite to cheer on their bears. But you have to ask, why wait this late to go shopping? Because I'm crazy and yes. I love to wait and keep yes. things last minute. And she had plenty of company out on North Michigan Avenue this evening, despite sub-zero winds blowing off Lake Michigan. It's all about the layers. My Hardy, my long John, my t-shirt, my tank top, my dickies. Lots of people scurrying to beat the store closings tonight, loaded down with shopping bags and a sense of Midwestern accomplishment. A bracelet. Legos and something for my wife. And it's not just Christmas gifts. There were also huge crowds packing this South Loop grocery store as shoppers scramble to complete that holiday feast. There's got to be still at least 100 people in there. And if you're looking for another level of winter warriors, welcome to Soldier Field. Go Bears! People came prepared to sit outside for hours in the sub-zero cold as the Bears took on the Buffalo Bills in one of the frostiest games in Soldier Field history. Some fans so bundled up they could barely bend over. Just a few square inches of exposed skin. The Morgan family from Los Angeles said they had to experience a Bears game in the polar vortex. When they heard that that, that football game today, the Bears game, could be the coldest ever, they said, Dad, get us tickets. So we got tickets, and we went to that Bears game.